everybody, Al here from BC Extreme Outdoorsman. Today I am in St. Albert, Alberta. I came to pick up my boat trailer and I'm with Ryan Dixon here, the sales manager for uh, Riverside Marine here in St. Albert. And he's gonna yeah. go, go over a little bit here, but the difference between uh, Solar Strella and the Solar Superjet. Uh, it's actually the first time I've ever seen one. I've never even had mine out of the package yet, but uh, I will soon and you guys will be seeing me ripping up and down the river here shortly. So I'll let Ryan tell you uh, the difference between the bottoms on these boats. This one here is a Strella, right? Yeah, that's correct. So these solar inflatables have kind of taken off and a lot of people are asking between like, kind of what's the difference? So here's the kind of the quick gist of it. They make a base model, then they make a solar base model, and then they make a super jet and a super jet base model. So what a Strela is, it's this bottom. It's got a higher peaked keel to it with a higher rise. So a little bit better in the open water, waves, open water, that type of thing. Yep. Then also too, as it funnels down into the jet tunnel, it's pretty flat and neutral all the way through. So it's, it's positive, it works great. Now, over on the super jet, and I just love walk, walking past this guy. This is a 2518. <laughs> we ordered the jet pumps in for this. Uh -huh. Fantastic little setup. Nice and light too, it looks. Nice and light, yeah, about 130 pounds. And so here's the super jet bottom. So the yeah. super jet bottom has these two channels that run the length of the boat, funneling the tunnel. So that gives you the shallow water ride, as well as these lifting pads at the back, which lifts the back end of the boat up, let you, your motor run through a little bit shallower water. And then the transoms are a little bit different. So they have a bolted together 15 inch to a 21 inch transom. This allows you to run a prop short shaft. And if you wanna get a jet pump or maybe you're running a jet motor, now it hangs right on the back of the 20 inch shaft right there. Okay. And then, uh, so these models here are the base models and then we have the Expedition, which is what you got. Yep. And it's got transit braces, top tubes. And, and the top tubes, yeah. correct. Yeah. Can you get this here on there, the top tubes? Yeah, so what you have to do is you have to cut those top tubes, oh, or okay. the, what they call the ball port tubes back and then recap them and then it'll leave you enough room to mount this okay. basket. Yeah. Okay. You put some lights on it and... Yeah, I'm going to put lights on mine. Yeah. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you never know. You might get yeah. uh, stuck out there in the dark. For sure. Shoot a moose in the right before dark and then have to get back to camp. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so you can really see the difference on the bottom of this on the super jet. So the bottom of the motor is what, about an inch? Just you know, a little less than that. So about a, less than a half an inch. So just below it, about the thickness of the the uh, the thickness of the foot. So you want the lower part of the foot above the back side of the uh, So it'll be above foot. here. Yeah. So no part of the mo of that foot is actually below the... Just the heel. So okay, the back the side of the heel. So I have a pump over here, actually. I'll, show, I'll explain to you kind of what that means. Because a lot of people, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah. A lot of people don't know how to set up these guys. Yeah, so. I don't know how. <laughs> so with, with this... Oh, this one, I'm waiting oh, there's for no the, foot. Vez, the Vesna foot. Okay, so this one here, this, this is very deceiving because the angle of this stand. But this mm -hmm. is a little bit more aggressive approach when it's on the back of your boat. Mm -hmm. So this leading edge you want just a hair above the the top of the tunnel and then the heel of the foot will be inside the tunnel. Okay. So essentially it'll be and I usually have one set up here. So when you're just, when you're going in shallow water that water is being forced through those tunnels in the super jet and right up into the intake. Into the intake, okay. you betcha. Correct. And then right into the back here I actually wanted to uh, show this. So we actually Holy cow. Just received a few boats. Um, just the first load showed up. So Very if nice. you are looking for one, please let us know. At Absolutely. Yep. They'll look after you. The, they give they treat you well. Customer service is great. And uh, they will give you a good deal. They'll work with you. Yeah. And put a nice package together for you for sure. Appreciate and it. not only super or not only solar boats, but uh, they sell everything else as well. Yamaha sport boat, high field boats. We've got all sorts of uh, outboard motors, pro fish inflatables. We've got, if they sell it, we've got it. Pontoon boats, Pontoon sea dudes. Boats, yeah, fishing boats. We've got it. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Okay, I think that's it. So on that note, I got the nine hour drive back to Kamloops. I've just been driving since quarter after three this morning. I only stopped like three times, twice for fuel. And a little uh, snack. 
No, I eat while I, I drive while I eat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> or I eat while I drive, I yeah. should say. I don't I don't stop at restaurants. But yeah, they got everything for your boating needs here. They got a complete pro shop over there with everything from water skis to weight boards to everything you need for the Yamahas that they sell. You don't sell in boards at all, do you? Just Yamaha boards? It, Yamaha board motors, and then we sell the Yamaha jet drive okay. in the sport boat. So they have single engine jet drive versus a twin engine jet drive. So they are jet drive, so they only take about 18 inches of water draw. Uh, so you can go in shallow lakes, especially it's good for Alberta. Cool. Okay, everybody. So uh, won't be long before I get this boat on the water. It'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait, and I'll be bringing you guys with me. So uh, I'll show you the boat trailer, and maybe I'll show you some of the mountains on the way home. I was going to stop on the way here and show you guys some of the mountains, but I didn't feel like I wanted to get here. So uh, I'm here, so I'll take my time going home. Okay, everyone, uh, one more thing. We came into the basement to look at one, an expedition model, and there's actually two of them here. And these are the Strella models. Yeah. So uh, they have these upper tubes. They have the stainless steel brackets here, and yep. then the rear transom braces that go from yep, here right to here. To here, yeah. So they're it's just, just a brace. aluminum, just aluminum uh, brace. And they have another one that's called an Alaskan um, model, I think, and it has another one from here to here or something. Doesn't yeah. It? And what we'll do is we'll actually just add we call them inside transom braces versus outside. So the Expedition will come standard with the outside ones. Yeah. And then if you want the inside braces, we, we install the inside braces. Okay, but that, is that the Alaskan Well, I think that's what they're series? calling. We don't get that. So, so this is the expedition. that we get that's called Alaskan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and then on the front side here, you can visually see the polyurethane bottom on the expedition. It's a lot thicker on here. I don't know if you can see because it's kind of dark in here, but uh, trust me, it's a lot thicker. And then you got the bow cover as well. And it, what does that come back to about here? Right there. You got okay, it. right where this yep. strap is. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then this, this guy being the Strela. So this is the Strela block for the yep. jet motor. And essentially that's just going to go on to the back here. So that's what your motor's going to mount on to. Okay. If it is a Strela. Uh, jet drive, and then if you want to run a prop 15 inch shaft, that's what you'll mount onto right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And he told me to fill everything up to three pounds first and then go back and do everything to four. And uh, the floor is crazy. It's stiff, isn't it's it? It's so stiff <laughs> because it, the, so, the, the floor is nothing but air. Like there's nothing, it's not, there's no aluminum or anything in there. And they designed it so that with little. Uh, honeycomb things or yeah, something that's a good way of putting it, yep. to make it so that it's you can stand on it and it's not like a waterbed it's going to yeah, be nice and comfortable oh, nice and cool. and durable and uh should hold you it'll hold them i tell you it's they're phenomenal yeah i, I can't wait yeah. it's going to be fun i'm going to put a w at least one full moose in here yeah yeah <laughs> hopefully of that one, yeah. oh yeah we will okay was there anything else i wanted to say um, no, I, I have boats in stock. I have motors in stock. We are ready to ship. So whatever you need, we have it. We will uh, get it out to you. Uh, we're sending... Uh, How about the Yamaha 4030s? Are they hard to get right now? They are hard to get, but I can get them. And okay. I have some in stock. Actually, there's some right here. <clears throat> oh, okay. This is the way they come. This is actually yep. the way you picked up yours. It is. Mine's... You guys seen this. This is so all mine looks. So I got a couple of these sold already. So they, there's a couple deals yep. uh, on these guys. And then this is actually how the solar boats come, a lot of them. And then in wooden crates, which okay. we have there as well. And then this is, you guys all seen this, this is how the boat comes in its uh, package when it's folded up. That's how I'm going to be bringing it up north in the mm -hmm. cargo trailer. The trailer will be staying home. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay, everybody. I know I said goodbye before, but I'm going to say <laughs> goodbye again. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications button. I'll give you a quick view of the trailer on the, when I go outside and then uh, enjoy these mountains on the way home. Okay, hey everyone, here's the trailer that I got for the boat. Very nice trailer, very well put together. Even has these little uh, guides for guiding the, the boat on. So, Riverside Marine here in St. Albert, Alberta. This is their marine uh, shop. They got a showroom, uh, pro shop service. Down here, about four blocks, he told me, that's where they have their uh, motorsports. So ATVs, side by sides, street bikes, dirt bikes, all that kind of stuff. So they're very, they got a very big. Uh, I don't know if it's called. It has to be called 
Riverside Motorsports, I guess. So they, it's a very big company and they treat you very well, look after you very well. So uh, if you're looking for a solar boat or any kind of boat, Yamaha, uh, Sea-Doo, um, Explorer, any kind of those boats, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to give them a call. Give Brian a call here at uh, Riverside Marine. Uh, now, everybody, you can watch the mountains. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Okay, here I'm at the Mount Robson Provincial Park viewpoint. There's Mount Robson, but it is all fogged in, clouded over, so you can't see much of it. But that's about all you can see.